up on stage. Um, Eileen Miles is a, an American poet. She's been, um, pro she's produced more than 20 volumes of poetry um, over the last three decades. She even ran for president of the United States. Um, I've, been, I've studied with Eileen for the past two, three years, and she's been very important to me personally. So, Eileen Miles, everyone. Thanks, Giovanna. And she's been totally important to me, so it's so cool that she's here. So, um, I'm going to read a, I'm going to read a uh, kind of a trophy, and then some kind of um, fuck poems, I think, and then um, and end with a prayer, I think. So this first this first poem I wrote it in 1989, so I just thought this is like a trophy of that year. And there's a there's a big head in it, and that the big head is Cookie Mueller. Like I felt totally sick from the strawberries and the electronic music. Yeah. Just wanted to share. The mirror is my mother. If I'm not in there, I'm in here. The city accordion and someone's kind hands squeeze in, pull out, holds us closely on the couch. The mirror is turned and I'm facing the wall. Let me turn quickly and turn to the city. The beauty of Christmas is accidental. A legion of scarves getting off and cars, paintings, movements. A cardinal aghast, turning the pages of the New York Times. They had lived together for quite a few years. Both happened to be standing there when the Berlin Wall fell down. As I watched her lying there, shriveled, the huge head decorated, and the room swayed with candles and white flowers, and as I said, it was as if you moved a mirror and what you saw was the wall instead. My uncle's lips looked rubber, smeared all over his poor old Irish face. It was his voice I knew, not his lips. Poor old Uncle Tim, who always wiggled his ears, on and always so huge in power and strength, strangled by grief, a little pooch, dependent on her grandchildren, who loved her. I say death is a strange thing. I want to stay open to this life, my rubber lips, twisting in lies and fear, my eyes burning with impatience and truth. An angel should come and they would speak. On my birthday, they were handing me millions of pictures of myself as they do in our culture, the clapping of hands, light, everything that's not dead and dark. I brought my ancient bunny home from Boston, the puppets. I brought my mask. Now this African woman looks down on my life, poor and white. Outside, the Christian lights blink comically onto my tenement bed. In East Frisia, the lightning means they're taking your picture again. Don't squint. Let your mother look at your beautiful face and love you for breath and movement. And hearing an animal suddenly moving in the brush, let it pass. Never strike. Afterthought. I guess what I like is my thousands of little titles wiggling for years. Aloha. Great title. You don't want to hear that. I don't think you want to hear that. Jiggly. I keep trying to get it right all night. If you're going the wrong way, you're responsible for everybody, every living thing. Okay. You guys are great, thank you. <laughs> These are like very contemporary poems, so if they suck, I just want you to know they're new. They're really new. So this is called May 8th. Where was I when I would stop? Where was I when I'm so happy now? Yeah, no, I'm going to read this. Hang on. 
Where was I when I'm so happy now, a teeny window, and in it, teenier squares, all that sitting still in the squalid night, and something turning, I'm home. What if you had to copy out everything you ever wrote before, but seriously, what, where was I? The other coast, of course, not in the teenier square. Yeah, no, this is a good one, hold on. What if you had to copy out everything you ever wrote before? But seriously, where was I? The other coast, of course, not in the teenier squares, but one in the same. My misconception, perhaps standing in for the rest and something's turning. I love each whistle here, each jangling horn, quack and a gush. You know the sediment I meant, but a sediment of sound? Consider the wind and the brutal horns of night. I was in the hilly city out there, and a puffiness came over me, nudity's back, and I hope to find lovers everywhere but in books. The revolution remains fleshly, wa washing up to my ears and then blowing softly. Thousands of cars, the city, a tube, our nation, a scream. This is like the best one. May 26th. I keep to tiny gestures, sweet William, dazzling orange sky, my, 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 dying New York. All right, that's a great poem. May 29th. The number ate the one before, the mind so slow, I watched it happen. It's digital, get it? You know, it's, this one you don't want to hear. Oh. Okay, this is a political poem. You know, a Memorial Day in the States is a very patriotic holiday. They came back from the army. They don't share, and then they get a new phone. That's totally what happens to veterans in America. It's May 28th. What did I do today besides ecstasy, which is exhausting? Rose and sewed dog blanket and dark coffee, walked, dog biked and trained to Brooklyn, came home high, tweeting, gym, copy edits, Myra, food, meeting, walk dog. See? Epic for you. In the book called Bed, it says eating you endlessly and the flower turns. In Bed, it says the man hates his female insides. She's the sauce of the world. In Bed, it says you'll forget time in the tiny room. You'll explode in your knee socks, exploding putrid truth. That's right, it stinks. In Bed, it says everything's worth it. We do it slow. What's cool about us is we take our time, not yours. When the clam shut, she couldn't work. In the dark, she thought about the open thighs, welcoming the onslaught. Summer's fist, cold slap, aching mountain, collapse, ramshackle blood, ear flaps, yummy, live wire, puss. In bed, she thought, I feel like a hungry salamander, cartoon wiggling over my girls. I slop and shake her thing. I shoulder hot cock on parade. Fucking spring and girl power, a sex feel like Play-Doh. Sort of a responsible citizen in bed, pound you. Been dying to eat this orange all day, drop its juice on the floor, suck up its sections, bit, sting my lips, sticky hands. What's corny? No, it's an orange. A fucking tasty, juicy, lovely fucking orange. I open my day mouth to you. In bed, I said, why did I ever think I liked kids? A woman is just so truthful. Thank you. You, I'm bravely eating my croissant at everyone. I'm living on my wet board. I'm living on my money, limits set, the lights lower. I worship the blue marks on the hydrant. How like the name of a flower. It's a really good poem, it's, right? I'm gonna read it again. Here it is. You, just listen, this is an amazing poem. I'm bravely eating my croissant at everyone. I'm living on my wet board. I'm living on my money, limits set, and the lights lower. 
I worship the blue marks on the hydrant, how like the name of a flower. Thank you. Thank you. Sunday. I keep making Saturday plans. Column. Protected from failure, we met with light. Chesty leaves bounce, a drop. It's something, what could be crinkling today? A weight explosion, sorrow, future, us at our best. Now it's day. Today, I would love to love someone forever and fuck them till they died. Okay, and this is my final poem, which is a prayer. And I just want to explain that I was, I was living in the desert and I lost something very valuable. And so I got in touch with a, um, a tarot reader from Tucson, and she said that I should pray to St. Joseph and that I should listen to whale recordings. And I thought, holy shit. So I wrote this poem, which is St. Joseph, Father of Whales. St. Joseph, Father of Whales, speak to us from the deep. St. Joseph, baby father traveler, clown suit, not father but carter of watermelons, cantaloupes, and footballs, my fearful agony, carter of my coyote joy, carter of pearly landscapes, your tattooed soul is a TV set, across which gallop kangaroos and javelinas, dancing cigarettes, grief, and me with a staff leading a legion of puppies out of the desert. With a picture of you on my staff, you as a dog in a baseball cap. I heard your Joseph Josephy song in the whale last night. Great round giggly organs tickling and mooing and diving calves. You're the oldest and the silliest, Joe. Cool for me, you're on my side. I'm enormous and slippery. Thanks to you, I'm sleek. I break the bank. Breachy, breachy, and my thoughtful wishes for the world, and wolves, and growling leaves dancing behind holy rice shades. Thanks, Joe. I can read the leaves in the sky and sing along. In the end, I have you to thank for my transparency. Here I am, gentle, thumping heart and lungs at the bottom of the ocean. Here I'm your visible whale, son. Keep watch on my blubber, sailing around and past that man eye. Me, gently, thanks, Joe, of the desert, Joe of the sky and outer space, gleaming Pluto and Mars, big Jupiter and the sea, the surveying man feels my reasonable guts and the gleaming chart, all my trips, the goodness ahead. And he smiles, thanks, Joe, with an infant's trust. Thank you.